everybody! Welcome to another one of my 6th edition Tyranid Data Slate videos. This is the one you've been waiting for. If you didn't know you were waiting for it, you were waiting for it. This is the Tyranid formation we have all dreamed about all of these years. The endless numbers, the constant, never-ending tide of Tyranids. This is it in a formation. It is appropriately named the Endless Swarm Formation. Let me read the uh, prologue. To battle the Tyranids of High Freet Leviathan is to live a waking nightmare, one where the odds of survival worsen with every passing minute. The Endless Swarm is the ultimate expression of this phenomenon. Wave after wave of warrior beasts surge towards the foe, a rippling tide of chitin and claws that will eventually sweep over all before it. No matter how many individual horrors the, flow, the foe brings down, more will always pour forward to fill the gap. For the hive mind spins the lives of its broods as a conventional army spins bullets. Or bolts. Probably not too many bullets in 40k, but who's going to nitpick? So, let's look at what this little bastard does. Uh, I mean, it's e it's even incredible to read it. To be honest with you, the fact that they created this thing is just is just terrifying. I mean, right now, uh, to be honest with you, after reading this, th there's really no other army in 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 the Tyranid Codex anymore. Literally, that's how insane this is. So let's look at the formation. <clears throat> An endless swarm consists of the following units: three. Hormagant Brutes. Two Termagant Brutes. One Tyranid Warrior Brood. There is no formation restrictions. So you can set these guys up any way you like. And as with as many numbers up to unit max. Okay. Now, here's one special rule. Endless Swarm. Each time a Hermagon or Termagant brood from this formation is completely destroyed, roll a d6. On a 4+, plus, you can immediately, immediately place a new unit into ongoing reserve. That's ongoing reserve, not normal reserve, so it automatically shows up next round. And yes, for all the lictors with pheromone trails and everything like that, uh, the tunnels, keep those in mind. Ongoing reserve. What does that mean? Uh, okay, well, basically the unit regenerates. The exact same unit. Same size, same model, same number. It's still a part of the same formation. Uh, on a 4+, plus, just starts next turn. Um, that's as simple as... Oh, for victory points. I had to clarify this before. The victory points for the destroyed unit only are given to the opponent if you don't make your 4+, plus roll. So uh, if you do make your 4+, plus roll... It doesn't even count as a destroyed unit. Wow. I mean, <laughs> what else do you need after you have this? Three Harmagant, two, term, uh, two Termagant, one Hive, one, one, one Warrior. You could get two of these. You could get three of these formations. Who knows how many? I, I, I just get two Prime HQs. I mean, that's it. It's done. I hope you have enough NID models. Uh, but but that's it. Could you even imagine just getting a couple tunnels going? Or anything like that? 
it's it's insane. Um, <laughs> it's it's like my game over video. That's it. What else do you have to say? It's it's. Anyways, uh, I'll be going on to the other videos after this. They have a next one is going to be called the Living Artillery Node, um, <laughs> which which is almost as, as good for us as bad for them. And I will see you next time if you're still not convinced that the Tyranids will rule all. Bye.